this video, I'm going to show you exactly what I eat on a day-to-day -day basis to stay lean, stay fit, stay buff, stay strong, and exactly what you should be doing and the things that you should avoid, man. Come on, there's a lot of crap out there. So as a man over 40, you need to be watching this video. So what I did was I just grabbed a bunch of stuff out of my refrigerator so I could answer the question, Clark, what do you eat on a daily basis? So if I were to give you a general overview of my typical style of eating, if we had to choose one of these categories is I'm a kind of a low carb guy not because I'm afraid of rice I clearly have it right here and I love jasmine rice I, I love basmati rice but I don't eat too much of it I eat enough of it I kind of eat a Mediterranean diet which includes grains and things like rice so with that being said, these are items that are in my refrigerator that I want to share with you and kind of give you the reasons why you might want to have some of the same things. So I mentioned whole foods. So whole foods are the things that have one ingredient. Rice is rice. Broccoli saw is broccoli saw. Spinach is spinach. All of these things are a single ingredient. It is the food item of which it, the origin. Then we'll start with the secondary food items like protein powder. Everyone says, hey, get a good protein powder. Protein powders are good, but they should be secondary. They shouldn't be your first choice. So if you get up in the morning and the first thing you go to is a protein powder and not an egg, I would recommend you go for an egg and not the protein powder because this is processed, this isn't. Your body is going to assimilate and use this better than it's going to use this. But get a protein powder that you like. Get a protein powder that you use consistently. And really, at the end of the day, these are all pretty much the same thing. It's a matter of what you'll use consistently. So we have that. Protein. So we have the macronutrients. Protein, fat, carbohydrates, and alcohol. Alcohol is one of the macronutrients that we don't speak of. I have some in here. So let me pull it out just so you know. I'm a regular person just like anyone else. So you have alcohol as one of the macronutrients as well. This is usually what messes people up because like I said, when you start drinking alcohol, it kind of takes away the inhibitions, then all of the other stuff that isn't good for us, the chips and all of those processed, salty, crunchy things aren't going, it, we don't have the, the restraint that we used to have because this took it away. So this is tequila. If I'm gonna drink alcohol, I want it clear, I want it basic, I want it simple like that. Beer and the other things, but these are all wasted calories. This is not good. I'm not suggesting you drink alcohol, but I know people do. And I appreciate a shot, nice sipping on tequila every once in a while. So anyway, this is a macronutrient that is full of empty calories. So if we're talking about calories, which is a completely different video, this is going to add to that in a way that is not going to benefit you. Alcohol is never gonna do anything positive for you. So let me just put that out there. So we'll put this to the side. Now, that's a macronutrient we got out of the way. The next big one is protein. You want to get your protein from the best sources possible, organic, grass-fed, all of that sort of thing. It's best if you have your own chickens and cows in your backyard, but if you don't, try and source it locally. Try and source it from a place that you know it is truly organic. Do You know that it, it's farm to table kind of a deal right here. So I have chicken strips here. I've got some marinated chicken at the store. And then I have my eggs right here. So these are my main sources of protein. I'll throw some ground turkey in and salmon is one of my big ones as well. I just didn't have any in the refrigerator. But these are items that you want. So again, in the morning, you get up, you make yourself some scrambled eggs. You could throw a little bit of tortilla in with it. I like to brown my tortillas up with my rice. We call them migas. A friend of mine shared that with me years ago. But that is a nice breakfast for me. So when I get up in the morning, I drink water, I have coffee, I'll have something like this or nothing at all. And that's totally fine too because that would be intermittent fasting. So one of the things that I do to make my life easy. So again, let me, let me cover this so we know. Protein, have good quality sources of protein available at all time. I throw this in a cast iron skillet, it's done. I throw this in the air fryer, it's done in minutes. It doesn't take long to have a healthy, great quality protein and use this meal prepping, make a fresh meal, whatever you wanna do. So let's set to this to the side. Another thing I do is I have a meal prep company that sends me my meals. So this right here, chicken, this is a peach, there's a little bit of rice in here and some green beans, fresh, they're delivered to me each week. So this is a great option if you need a meal delivery company. I have one, I use Icon Meals. This one happens to be local to me. This is the Harvest Honey. Hannah's great, Todd is great from Icon Meals. So this is an option as well. If you can afford it, 
if you don't want to cook and, and you know. And speaking of affordability, it truly is affordable. It really is affordable. A lot of people throw the baby out with the bathwater and think that it isn't. Oh, another good form of protein right here is tuna. I found this natural catch stuff. They're not paying me. This is really good tuna. They have more beans and peppers in it and stuff. So there we go. Another secondary food item which goes with proteins are the bars. This is a candy bar, that's it. They fool you with the marketing, high protein, all this bullshit, low sugar, no fat, no GMO. This is, this is basically, it's garbage. I, I have them, I use them. In the morning sometimes, I'll have this with the coffee. I'm not saying I'm perfect. What I'm saying is, I choose this first, and then this. This is in the car, if on the run, you need something, this is a decent option. But also going to a, a, a drive-thru and getting a burger without the bun in lettuce, in an in and out or a, a, a better place than maybe a Burger King or something like that. Now, something that I talk about a lot that is good to regulate your blood sugar, it's good to help you stay consistent in the bathroom is celery. Celery, you should crunch on two celery sticks a day. Grab yourself some celery, this gives you the saltiness, this gives you the crunchiness. You put some good natural peanut butter on here. You've got a treat that will satisfy you in the, the witching hour after seven o'clock when you want salt, fat, and sugar. Grab something like this. Yeah, man, it's gonna take a little bit of discipline, but fucking exercise some discipline in your life if you really wanna get in shape, all right? Another thing I keep are salads. I have these salads in a bag. I pop them in a bowl, shake them up, get the dressing around. I'll either throw some tuna in there, some chicken out of one of my meals, chop it up, leftover from what I made earlier. Nice chicken salad, low carb, high in nutrients, the phytonutrients that you need, the micronutrients that you need in the vegetables. Again, I had mentioned that we are malnourished. We need these micronutrients. I'm gonna do another video on supplements later for you. But the micronutrients and the phytonutrients that are found in vegetables are vital for us. Another great one is spinach. This much spinach, when you cook it, turns into this much spinach when you cook it. If you've ever done that, you know what I mean. So one of my favorite meals is I'll get spinach. First, I'll get ground turkey or chicken, cut it up in pieces, cook it in my cast iron skillet. You can see all this on my reels. Throw in some spinach, cook that down, throw in some good organic, fresh spaghetti sauce, boom. You got a beautiful, low carb, great tasting meal. And this has a lot of, lot of comfort to me because my mom used to make spaghetti sauce all the time and it just reminds me of that. So that's a big thing too when you're eating. Put this off to the side. I've mentioned rice before. Rice, I love the jasmine rice. I love the basmati rice. You should have a rice cooker. Typically with, with the, the macronutrients, so protein, the size of your palm of your hand, that thick, so if it's a piece of chicken. Carbohydrates, a potato, the size of your fist, and fat, the size of the tip of your thumb. But fats like this, you could do more than that, right? I would eat this whole avocado, this is good. So we got the rice, so you're not eating more than that. So that might be a, a cup of rice. So we're putting together a meal. We got some nice chicken cooked in there, put some spaghetti sauce on it, get some rice, throw that in there, and then have some avocado with it. Perfect meal, as long as you don't have too much. Remind me to tell you about calories at the end of this. These, these cherry tomatoes, I love these. Fruit, fruit, it's weird that these are both fruits, right, because they have seeds. But I pop these all day long. This has got the lycopene in there, it's got some great stuff for heart health, for prostate health. You know I'm all about the prostate now, that I have cancer, so anyway, these are great to have, just to pop. This is a snack. This is that thing that you look for in the refrigerator. You pull it out and you use that. The frozen vegetables, you know, the Jolly Green Giant said, they're picked at their peak of freshness. I believe that, maybe it's some marketing bullshit, but this is easy, it's really easy. You don't have vegetables rotting in the refrigerator. So have this stuff around is my point. And then I always have some sort of powdered greens available because this is packed full of micronutrients, phytonutrients, and all the stuff that we're lacking, especially if we're eating the secondary stuff. So make sure that you have something like this as well. If you have any questions, comment below. Look, I, I talked about calories. I'm gonna do another video on calories, but it really isn't about calories, it's about your hormones. If your hormones are out of whack, and this is something that I've learned in my decades in the industry that I wish I had done sooner. You need to understand where your hormones at. Most people, most men that follow me, don't get their blood work done. I am an advocate of you getting your blood work done. So once you get your blood work done, and if you need help with that, just hit me up, man. There's links all over the place. Once you get your blood work done, you know where your hormones at, which completely negates the need to count macros and count calories and count shit. I don't wanna count anything. I wanna eat. 
I want to be satisfied. I want to enjoy food. People aren't enjoying food. You're dieting. You're barely getting by. You're doing it for 12 weeks to get ripped. Then it's over with. Stop. Fucking stop. All right? You need to get your blood work done. So working backwards from there, if you need help with that, holler at me. Comment below. Let me know if you like this video. There's so much more I want to share with you. I will do it on more videos coming up. Make it a great day.